And do you guys get enough money to come up with the hotel room money every night? No. <laughs> I wish, because we have to buy dope, and that's the money I make a day goes all to that. And I wish it was for the hotel to shower and stuff, but it's never, never enough. Today we are here in Orange County, California with Nas. Nas, are you originally from Orange County? Yes, um, born and raised in Irvine. Okay, mm -hmm. it's a really nice neighborhood over there. Very nice, very pretty. How old are you? I'm 31. 31. And what brings you over here to? Uh... Um, drugs, fentanyl. Once I started using, I became homeless and came over here because that's where it was, was over here in this area, so. <clears throat> How long have you been homeless? And Since Christmas, a little bit before. So I would say officially like Christmas I left home. Yeah, so. <clears throat> and what age did you start doing drugs? Um, it started when I was like 20. Uh, I got in a car accident and I got my back. I hurt my back, they prescribed me Norcos. And then from Norcos, I went to Oxycontin. And then someone introduced me to heroin because it was cheaper. Then I started doing that, and then fentanyl, yeah. <clears throat> and how long have you been doing fentanyl? For a solid, like, year, almost two years now, yeah. <clears throat> and how does that make you feel? It just numbs me. It just numbs me to not think of everything that's, that I've neglected, and it just, just makes me not feel, I guess, yeah. And you said that you're out here with your boyfriend? Yeah, he's been homeless longer than I have because he's been in and out of prison. And But I had gotten him, introduced him to fentanyl, so now he's hooked on it and I feel like responsible, so yeah, it sucks. How long have you been with him? Uh, it's gonna be also two years, almost two years, yeah. And how do you guys earn money out here? Do you boost, uh, panhandle? Uh, boost, I boost and panhandle, he panhandles. And do you guys get enough money to come up with the hotel room money every night? No, <laughs> I wish, because we have to buy dope and that's the money I make a day goes all to that. And I wish it was for the hotel to shower and stuff, but it's never, never enough. How much do you think you spend a day on your drug habit? <clears throat> Now at least $80 a day. Yeah, so I'll pick up like two times a day and it'll be like, yeah, $40 each time. Yeah. Have you ever worked a typical job like a nine to five? Or? Yeah, I was a preschool teacher assistant before and um, I loved it. And then I caught my first petty theft case and they had to let me go because obviously can't work at a preschool having that on my record. But yeah, I worked in off the last job I remember was like in 2018 or 17, I worked the office job on Indeed. But I think they saw that I was staying in my car or something, they let me go, it was just a temporary job. So, but I haven't worked like a nine to five since then. Have you ever um, gone into rehab or gotten clean? I did try to go to detox. Um, but each time I, I mean, jail is the longest time I had been clean and I tried very hard to stay uh, clean, but then it's just like the cravings kicked in and boredom kicked in and I just went back to using. Yeah. Have you ever been arrested? Yes, <laughs> a, lot. <clears throat> a lot. How long were you in jail? I did three months the last time I was in there. Yeah, for charges that my mom pressed on me but they had done like early releases because of COVID so I didn't have to serve my whole time which I only had like two months left but did the three months yeah you lucked out on that one yeah I sure did and I, I told myself I'll never don't go back do everything I got on probation the last time uh the terms and it just it's like worse when you go on probation because you have to check in and like do all this shit and they search. It's just, it, I just, I just start uh, upscounding now. So yeah. And I'm sure it's very dangerous out here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. People rob you. They, they it, like the people you think are your friends, they'll take your things. They'll, 
when you're sleeping, just it's scary out here. That's why I can't be, I have to be either with my boyfriend or with my best guy friend at night because I can't be out here alone. It's scary. Anything crazy happened to you? Um, I did wake up with a guy next to me, a uh, guy I didn't know one time. Uh, he was just laying right next to me and I just got up and I like ran. And that's, I think the craziest that it's gone, yeah. Thank God nothing else, um, yeah. Have you seen anything crazy happen to anybody else? I've seen a guy get stabbed right here at the In-N-Out. Yeah, that, that was pretty bad. Yeah, or he got hit with the bat or something, but I've seen that, um, that was pretty bad. It was like a whole big thing, but they got him, so he's in jail now. Yeah. <clears throat> That's good. Yeah. Do the cops give you guys a hard time? Garden Grove seems to give a hard time more than the Stanton Sheriff's, but it's more likely if you're not doing anything suspicious, they're, they'll cool, they're cool, they'll be easy on you, but you know, it depends, like, because my boyfriend is covered head to toe with tattoos, and he just looks like he's up to no good all the time. So he gets stopped a lot more than I would by myself. So I tend to, like, tell him to, like, walk away from, you know, just so I don't have any contact with them, the police, because it's not fun. <laughs> but they're, they're usually, they are understanding, because there's so many of us homeless out here that they're, you know, they just tell us to leave or, you know, they just want to know who we are, so, yeah. And what does a typical day look like for you? <clears throat> um, waking up and then a business, basically getting waking up by security telling us to leave and then making sure that I'm not dope sick. So making sure I have enough for the morning so I'm not have to go out and panhandle or boost um, and then you know getting well and then going out to make money. That's all my day consists of is getting high and making money. And if you could get any kind of job, like, <clears throat> excuse me, if you could get any kind of job right now, what kind of job, if you had a dream job, just get out of this? And... Um, I, I did want to be like a child psychologist because I love children. And, um, you know, I wanted to become a teacher and get my teaching units, but I didn't finish school. Um, but something in the field of children, because I love kids, they make me happy. <laughs> they do. Awesome. And after being homeless for the last two years, what's the most important lesson that you've learned? Just be grateful um, for everything you have and don't take anything for granted because I had a supportive family and they just wanted me to get clean and I couldn't do it. I chose the drugs over my family and I just, I just am happy I wake up every day, you know? Because being out here sometimes there's unfortunate situations like some girl because the fentanyl is so dangerous you can overdose on that like and I haven't thank God but you know it could be the wrong batch and I wouldn't wake up one day or something you know so I'm just grateful I'm still alive yeah. and lastly do you by any chance have any social media information like a cash app or Facebook I have a Facebook and Instagram would you like to give that to us? Yeah. Okay, and I'll give that to you now just to... Okay. Oh, my hand, I'm left-handed and I don't know, it's called sleepy hand or something and it's been like this for the past four weeks. So I have to learn, so my handwriting might be a little messed up. It's just, cause I'm left-handed, I don't know what, I just woke up on my hand one day and it was completely numb. So oh, wow. yeah, it's been, I don't know, I have to go to the doctor, check it out cause it's bothering me. Oh, I gave my email on accident. Okay, well, that's my Facebook name too. Is my first and last name. I hope you can read it, unless you want to write it down and so you can read your own handwriting. Okay, so N A Z A N E E N E B I A B R A. Oh, B N E B R A. H I M I. H I M I A. Mm -hmm. Just no, I said at Gmail. I don't know. I was oh, there. I oh, at Gmail. My, okay. Yeah. Um, but my um, Instagram is just N-A-Z and then my last name. N-A-Z. Yeah, and then E-B. E-B. R-A. R. 
A H I M. I. Yeah. Okay. It's a long Middle Eastern name. Got it. Yeah. Where's your family from? Afghanistan. Awesome. Yeah. So. so Middle are, East. Yep. Wow. Yeah. Are you a first generation here in America, or were you born over there? Oh no, I was born here. Me and my sister were born here. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. And then, um, lastly, are you okay if we use the interview on our YouTube channel? Yeah. Awesome. Of course. Thank you, yeah. Naz. Thank you, guys. Thank you. <laughs>